Hello, everybody. My name is Dr. Françoise Wilhelmi de Toledo. I'm the scientific director of the Buchinger Wilhelmi Clinics in Überlingen, south of Germany, and Marbella, south of Spain. We have a hundred years of clinical experience, and since a decade, we have published about a dozen of scientific publications showing the different aspect of long-term fasting. I would like to focus on long-term fasting because uh, others in the beginning of this uh, 21 centuries have wonderful publications on intermittent fasting. Um, the last one by De Cabo and Madsen is worth reading because you have a wonderful overview and summary of the effects of short fasting periods, either for of one, uh, some hours or of one day or two days consecutive or not in the week, or of alternate day fast. That are the techniques of intermittent fasting for short periods in all sorts of animals. We in the Buchinger Wilhelmi Clinics come from a, a long tradition of a hundred years of clinical fasting, medical fasting. Of course, only in the last decades, we have uh, started making um, observational studies in humans in large groups. The longer, largest one was um, published in PLOS One in 2019 with almost 1,500 people fasting five days, 10 days, 15 days, or 20 days. Uh, the, the founder of this clinic, Soto Buchinger, was a medical doctor who cured himself from a rheumatic fever, very acute and severe disease of all the joints who made uh, him invalid. He was not able to move anymore. And in only 90 days of fasting, he could recover his old joints and the mobility for the rest of his long life. So this very impressive experience in a time where there was no drugs and no, no treatments for this type of polyarthritis uh, has impressed him so much that until today, um, the um, uh, inspirational um, drive he put in describing a method to do it safely under medical control uh, is still valid. But of course, in the last decades, we have improved and um, based our method scientifically uh, with at least a dozen of scientific publications showing the diverse aspects of um, therapy for fatty liver, the safety of long-term fasting made by the, uh, with the Bochinger Wilhelmi program, um, diminution of, of blood pressure and all the metabolic improvements and also the diminution of inflammations and the enhancement of mood. So we have this 100 years of clinical experience in our clinics and myself uh, have 50 years this year of personal experience of fasting. I started with 17 with a total improvisation, but 12 days of fasting with no method. It was not good, but I was young and I survived it. And uh, afterwards, every year, one or two times, I'm fasting. Um, and having a group with me sometimes or just for myself at the beginning uh, for the enhancement of the mood, to lose weight. I was never obese, but, uh, you know, when you're young, you want to, to look good. And that was doing enhance my energy. And then uh, along the life, I fasted before I got pregnant. I fasted when I had diseases, especially inflammatory um, uh, conditions, and it was all, all the time a sort of first step in all my therapeutical approaches. Sometimes I had to have a real uh, complementary treatment, but uh, other times I could just avoid a lot of uh, drug treatments and sometimes even operations. This is why my personal experience uh, is that as a medical doctor, I saw first this improvisation of me, but with an extraordinary life-changing effect. And then I studied medicine. No one could tell me what it was, uh, what was the physiology of fasting. And then I went through the period where the fasting was used uh, just uh, to lose weight by morbid obesity. It was in the 60s. You took persons of uh, 200 kilos or more, let them fast hundreds of day with sometimes very good success. Uh, of course, uh, they didn't know at that time that the success of a uh, weight reduction program is when you change your life habits. 
So you do more exercise, you eat differently, not only less, but totally differently. And then uh, you um, uh, try to find a, an emotional balance. And now, uh, in the last 20 years, I got in touch with this fabulous research on longevity, approaching long-term fasting, at least in our clinics, uh, from, the, from the perspective of enhancing life, um, uh, and la enhancing lifespan in good health, and all the metabolic and genetic effects that have been studied uh, in our time. And uh, this is totally new. Uh, when you fast, we know what is happening on the metabolic and the chronologist uh, point of view. Insulin, so the sugar goes down, the insulin goes down, the non-esterified fatty acids goes up, glucagon, uh, growth hormone goes um, up, adrenaline, cortisol sometimes. And then you have a, f a phase where you are in ketosis and this is maintaining for a long time. And then you have a phase where you go back to food. And there, there are also a lot of uh, positive effects uh, on regeneration of your tissues. So in other videos, I, um, I looked at all this aspect, um, sometimes uh, a description of the different fasting regimens. Um, the topic of long-term fasting is something that is not yet as well studied as the um, intermittent fasting, but at least at the beginning of a long fast, you have the same mechanism. You have the same metabolic switch, you have the same genetic switch, the mTOR, the RAS are inhibited because you have no protein, you have no sugar or very little. And uh, this is leading to the ketosis with the whole effects on inflammation, diminishing the oxidative stress, improving uh, the antioxidant metabolism, and having a lot of effects that lead to treat three or four groups of disease. The first one is the metabolic diseases, of course, overweight, metabolic syndrome, consisting in hypertension, uh, diabetes to type 2 or uh, insulin resistance, um, lipid abnormalities, the blood lipid abnormalities, glucose uh, metabolism abnormalities, and leading to cardiovascular diseases. With fasting, you can get rid of all these things. And of course, to maintain the results, you have to change your lifestyle, eat differently, etc. So the second group is all the group of chronic inflammatory diseases. And fasting might not be enough, but it can already extremely decrease the symptoms, decrease the pains, improve the mobility, and make life much more qualitative. And then we have a group of the mood enhancement um, conditions. So if you have a pre-burnout, if you have a mood, depressive mood, uh, if you have uh, just a moment where you have no drive anymore, having a fast can just give you um, the kick to be fit again and to just wake up in the morning and feel like living again. And then there is a whole group of pathologies that you are treating now with uh, short-term fasting, with keto ketogenic diets, with calorie restriction, with a lot of um, strategies, uh, nutritional strategies, most of the time restrictive, restrictive um, who will lead to improvement of epilepsy, eventually the prevention of Alzheimer, of uh, multiple sclerosis, of Parkinson, well, the group of the neurological diseases and probably cancer. At least it has been already showed that in animal models, uh, periods of fasting were allowing to diminish considerably the side effects of chemotherapy so that the association of fasting regimens for short term, repeatedly uh, every day, or longer periods, which has to be still well-documented in humans, uh, more or less supplemented, would certainly be a tool, an important tool in uh, tomorrow's and today's 
uh, medicine, maybe a new paradigm where you can either use nutritional strategies in a very therapeutic purpose, sometimes curative purpose, or use them as a complement of conventional treatment to diminish side effects or to um, enhance the power of these treatments. If you want to know more about long-term fasting, um, read the uh, review article uh, published in Annals of Medicine that you will find in the description. And um, I hope that uh, this talk was interesting to you, that you feel that fasting is possible. Everybody can fast, fast maybe short term only, maybe for short periods or long term, depending on what is your condition, your age, your nutritional situation and under guidance, especially if you take drugs, you need to have a medical supervision and to be treated away from uh, everyday life with the multidisciplinary staff. If you are interested, stay tuned for more videos. We can also inform you on a regular basis if you subscribe to our um, page and our channel. And if you want uh, to um, rediscover your own abilities, then give it a try. Fast yourself uh, with good guidance.